Hello YouTubers, in this short video I will show a few basic tricks that you know, you may know or you may not know. First let's, um, right now we are like logged like a midnight Linux user. If we go on the root, you will see that the root line is red. It's kind of more obvious when you work like root to remind you that you are as root. How to do this? Let's go to the root uh, home with the following commands uh, cd space and then tilde that enter and we'll go to the root home directory. Let's see what's inside here. Let's zoom. Uh, we will see that there's one file dot bash rc. We will change it with one line this uh, file we'll put one line I will show you uh, let's open it with k right write dot bash rc uh, yeah this gives one error we can query this with this command export space dollar dbus minus launch Let's try again. This happens because we are logged like a midnight user but switch to the root and dbus is not loaded. Anyway, I already put this line. Let me zoom so you can see a bit. This is the line that you have to put here in this file bash at the end of the file I hope that YouTube will allow me to paste it in the description of video but if not uh, you have to pause video and I'll write it down there's a two spaces in the whole line here is one space and here is one space it changes the root bash line in red if you change 31 some other number let's say 28 or uh, or 5 or something it will change the color of this line but I prefer to be red now you save it and you will have next time when you log in into the as root will be red line so another thing is if we go to edit the current profile profile of this uh, console maybe you know these uh, things but let's go to tab settings uh, the default here is tab title format this is the tab that, uh, title that appears here uh, you can clear everything and you can insert the, the long directory by default is a short directory which shows the current directory but I find it more obvious with the long setting, long directory, when uh, you need to see the full path in the in the console, that is where you are working right now. It's more obvious. If we go right now, if we closed, and let's say we go to folder one, folder two, folder three, and if we open a terminal here you will see the full path here and it's obvious that you're working in this directory now another thing is um, let's say we can change the cursor of this make it more hackerish allow blinking cursor like block there's another options ibeam uh, underline uh, we can put a custom cursor color let's say and if you apply, see right now it's blinking. A lot of people are using um, another type of uh, terminal console. This is drop down terminal. It's very cool. We, we can install it to see what I mean. Let's go to root. You are PMI. And this terminal is called Yaquake. It's a drop-down 
terminal which takes the settings of your console right now it's installed and um, let's see whether it will appear here yes okay let's close this uh, you can open it with F12 see it's a drop down you can adjust the settings from here individual otherwise it takes the settings of your default console uh, terminal if you go to root you will see that also takes the red line of the root uh, you can make it to start automatically this uh, earquake and you can work with this we go to settings we go to start up and shut down auto start let's add it to the auto start so next time when you reboot it will start automatically and you don't need to run it each time click ok alright and that's it you already when you reboot it will start automatically so thanks uh, for watching and see you next time